Monday marked two weeks since the tragic murder of George Floyd. And I was joined by a few of my colleagues at Niagara as we knelt in prayer, reflection, and solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. This week, I met with NU's Identifying and Dismantling Racial Injustice Task Force as we move forward to recognize what must be done. In his beautiful book, Strength to Love, one of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's lesser known works, King writes from the embrace of the civil rights movement, his faith, his passion, and his dreams. Again, it is time to bring Dr. King's words to life. Our strength is in our diversity and in our choice to love. We choose to love when we enter into the suffering of our black brothers and sisters. We choose to love when we seek to listen and understand the deep and prolonged suffering of communities of color who live with the burden of inequity in family income, access to education, housing, health care, public safety, and the fundamental necessities of human life and services. We choose to love when we have the courage to weave tapestries of diversity, inclusion, equity, belonging, and opportunity across America and in our lives. We choose to love when we, will, we live with the conviction that our black brothers and sisters are born in the image and likeness of God. And when we know that the sin of racism is a sin against humanity and against God. The stories of black and brown violence are not new. Throughout time, even the most faithful have used the Holy Scriptures to justify their racist acts and attitudes. And today, in this country, we find ourselves in the same situation. We are witnessing bold acts of violence against our black brothers and sisters. As we reflect on the violence against our black brothers and sisters, Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and countless others, we are faced with a fundamental choice. We can think small, returning to our own individual lives and personal security. However, I do not think that our God of justice calls us to that limited vision. Rather, think big and act big, and see that our divine strength is evidenced in solidarity with the black community. We must accompany our sisters and brothers in changing the system that created unfair conditions from its very beginning. Niagara University has made strides in this work, and we have clearly much more work to do. I challenge you, and I invite you to join me in this work. Niagara University finds its life and inspiration in our founder of the Vincentian community, St. Vincent de Paul, the father of the poor. When I was inaugurated president of Niagara University, I chose the motto, action is our entire task. At this moment, our action is solidarity with Black Lives Matter. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. Let us pray. Dear God of everlasting justice, we ask your forgiveness for our individual and corporate acts of racism. We know that violence and oppression are against your holy word. And we ask you to reveal to us how we can stand in solidarity with those in our community who are simply being targeted because of the color of their skin. Loving God, show us how to use our power and privilege for good and how to use that power and privilege to move the needle of justice and the arc of human history towards nothing less than full liberation. Amen.